week two. I started this week by reviewing the week before and all the work that I'd done um, and the concepts that I'd focused on. And from that, I managed to figure out a plan of where exactly I'd like this session to go. And I found that structurally, I wanted to look at uh, origami and things that I could um, physically make. In And I wanted this uh, in a minimalist style, so I used the white paper. Um, so I started off with this house because it was it was reminiscent of one of the pieces from my mood board that I'd focused on in the last week and after that I moved on to creating this half a cube cut on the diagonal shape and that was really interesting because from that you can make um, flexi models and a flexi model is um, a solid piece or a solid structure made of different pieces uh, that you can change shape and change form of uh, through different hinges which I did here so you can see I made eight of these little uh, half cubes uh, put them together in a, a certain uh, order with different hinges in different places and from that you can make different shapes and you can fold it and twist it and um, it can still be movable even after it's formed um, so I wanted to look into that and I liked the idea of um, things having a multiple purpose or a multi-use for a more accessible uh, client almost. So I started to refine my concepts and I wanted to definitely look at disability. Uh, within that I found um, the lack of autonomy. Uh, the disabled people face especially to do with like their um, their own functioning so uh, the things they're allowed to do by themselves the things that they can do by themselves and I wanted to look at things that would things that help uh, disabled people to have more autonomy over their actions and their treatment and stuff like that and one of these things is mobility aids uh, I wear leg braces but um, a lot of these mobility aids are not very fashionable um, they're quite ugly, they're very medical looking um, and I wanted to look at what this could do to people. Now personally it costs me emotionally if I have to go out of a house and I don't look my best um, and they're also expensive so it, it's emotional cost, it's a uh, financial cost and sometimes they're heavy so that's a physical cost and you don't want those things that are meant to be helping people to harm them. Um, some of this context mapping is uh, sorting out some ideas that I have and different things that I want to bring in. So trying to get from light to disability and mobility aids, this is the structural pathway that I found that I could do it. So just some of the things that I'd that had come off of this, so you have like, uh, you go, it starts from light, projection, 3D, structure, architecture, considered design mobility aids. So that is a possible route that I could take to join those two things together. Refining concepts. These were just some things I wanted to look at within uh, kinetic ideas and structural movement, uh, which leads back to the flexi models. So there was, I found a few different uh, pre-existing designs by different designers and developers and companies that uh, were looked into furniture. And one of these things was the foldable bedroom and office, so used in small spaces, especially in Japan, in the city, where they, there's not a lot of uh, room that people have. These things fold out, and I liked the idea that you can create these uh, intricate things on the inside, but on the outside it's very plain and simple, and it, it folds out to all the needs that someone has. Um, there are... There's this um, door that instead of uh, sliding on hinges or sliding on tracks or going on hinges, um, there's just a pressure point in the middle and it folds inwards using uh, triangular shapes that you can push to the side uh, by Clemens Trogler. Now this is a demonstration of a model that I made uh, of that door. So it's uh, created of two squares, cut, uh, folded into triangular shapes. You push on this pressure point and it flips onto the other side, so the hinges 
um, keep it steady. And I really liked this idea because it seemed um, innovative and uh, sleek in a way that a lot of um, mobility aids aren't. Uh, this is another uh, kinetic design that I looked at that um, through certain hinges and certain points could turn this plain um, nine square square into this diamond pattern. This is just a uh, exploration of different uh, kinetic models and shapes I could work with in the future. And then I made my own flexi model um, without any sort of guidance. I returned back to this um, half cube shape and I used six of them, built them up into this shape and you could keep going and adding onto different places to form different shapes uh, and I made this three box one.